Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend forecast here from February 28th to March 2nd, 2020. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you all for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Please also note that energy and time are fluid, so feel free to... Oh, wait a minute. Let's switch up the roles as you deem necessary and know that this can be past, present, or future. Sorry about the lateness for this video. My uploading, it's crazy. It's not, it's taking forever to upload. I think I'm just going to, because I have four more signs to do. I just did one. I was up till, um, I did seven last night, up till like 4.30 in the morning because my computer, I don't know if it's because it's so windy here, the issue has the issue of uploading at an extremely slow rate. So I'm just going to record these videos and maybe go to a coffee shop and see if, uh, see if I have better luck there. So hopefully you'll get this soon and this won't take forever. Okay, I'm going to get a message from Spirit before we begin. But let me tell you what you got first. You get Six of Pentacles. Four of Swords, the Fool card, and the Knight of Swords, Scorpio. Oh, see beyond reality, Scorpio. Which you can do. You're very intuitive. So see beyond the veil. I'm feeling look deeper. Now, whether this is a situation or a person, I'm feeling you need to look deeper within them because there's something there uh, behind this veil that is like, it's important for you to see Loving is what will bring you joy, Scorpio. So I don't feel they're just talking about romantic relationships. I feel like they're talking about just love in general, loving, right? Being love, uh, loving yourself, loving others. This is what will bring you joy. So they want you to remind yourself of that. Okay. All right. So what do you have going on here? You pieced out possibly from a Libra. This is the minor arcana um, Libra card, right? Because there was no even reciprocity happening within a relationship. So it's, it's like you're taking a break. Yeah, during this break, this is where you need to go deep. You know how to go deep. Scorpio, right? Um, you need to go beyond this veil. You need to dig, dig deep. You can dig very intensely, okay? Because there's something that you're not seeing that you need to see. You're missing it. Now, with this Knight of Swords, there's information that comes in pretty quickly for you. Whatever this information is, it's wanting, it's, it's, bringing up inside of you this this desire to take a leap of faith but let's see oh okay six of swords okay now this is what i was feeling over here and i'm like well let me let me wait a minute before i speak because this seems to be a recurring theme for a lot of signs uh, you've got the Six of Swords clarifying the Four of Swords. So after piecing out and looking within, uh, it looks like you may move on from this person because of the uh, reciprocity that is non-existent. You may be moving on to somebody else. 
and it may be because it's it's a combination of this and because of this news that's coming in from somebody. Tell me about uh, well, tell me about the six of pentacles. What is this about? Why is this here? Queen of Swords and Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person has brought you anxiety, fear, keeping up at night. Be, being up at night, you could have Gemini in your chart. The Queen of Swords is Gemini for me as a reader. And this is one of the things that you were ruminating on. Should I cut this person out of my life? And I believe you started, you did just that. Either that or you're just thinking about it right now. But you will. Uh, clarify the Knight of Swords. Now this is for those that are that are coupled that's coming out in this storyline. I'll ask for singles in a moment. Yeah, the chariot, the movement. Again, you may actually be moving, okay, with this news. But what is this news about? Yeah, two of cups, see? This is news from somebody at a distance, ten of wands. It's been weighing heavy on you, and you're taking this leap of faith. You're just going. You're going. You're moving. This is twin flame soulmate energy, two of cups, okay? You don't want to stay in this anxiousness anymore, so you're cutting that person out. Tell me about the fool energy. The world, you want to start a new cycle. This could be with a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Okay, so tell me about singles. Anybody coming in for Scorpio singles, please? Judgment. A reunion. Okay. This is somebody from your past. So whether you're single, okay, that's why it's coming out. Whether you're single or coupled, you're getting communication from somebody from your past, which is going to make you want to leap forward and take a new leap of faith. This is reunion. This is balance. This is epiphanies. So you'll be getting some epiphanies. Tell me about the judgment card for singles. Page of Cups. Yeah, this person could come back and apologize, um, but they definitely have a love offer. Tell me more. They just showed me the Six of Cups. This person may be um, Page of Swords. They've been peeping on your social media there, Scorpio. Tell me more about this Judgment card. Six of Wands. This is the card of Leo in victory and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could be in the spotlight somehow. This is the victory. You have two victory cards here. So it's like uh, there's some sort of victory you're feeling good about. It could be about maybe this is like a secret wish that you've held to reunite with this person. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The Hierophant. Yeah, this person previously your energy, but is no longer. They want to commit. So they may be proposing to you. Some of you may be getting married. So how do you feel about this person? Well... How do you feel about this person? Yeah, this is your happiness, the sun card. And you want to drop the arguing, the jealousy, the anger. Okay, this is the card of Leo. They could have Leo in their charts. Okay, this is also past life soulmate. So this person is definitely from a past life. So this reuniting is purposeful. So any advice for Scorpio, for the coupled Scorpios? Let's get advice for the couples first. For the couple, currently coupled Scorpios, advice. Knight of Cups. Yeah, make that offer if that's what you're feeling. Some of you may be holding back from doing this. You need to go forward. You need to let your heart lead. Cups are hearts, right? It's the most romantic card in the deck. So you need to let your heart lead you, wherever that is. It's going to be different for everybody. Yeah, 
Don't be stuck in confusion with the Seven of Cups and stop thinking about the betrayal, the backstabbing, right? Um, yeah, you've got to, you need clarity here before you uh, offer your heart. Gain clarity. Stop the confusion, the cloudiness in your head. Okay, for singles, can I have temperance, patience? This is coming, but you need to be patient. This is the card of Sagittarius. This could be a Sag. Okay, I do feel a lot of fire in this chart for this person. One more card for singles for Scorpio. Two of Wands, choose the path. Let your heart lead you. See how there's two paths? You gotta leave one behind. So you have to choose. Because you have to you have to start moving forward. There's a lot of forward movement here with the chariots and um the six of swords, okay? That has to continuously be forward movement. Doesn't have to be fast, it just has to be um have a nice momentum, okay? All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. Also, comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. You have yourself a fantastic weekend, and I will talk to you tomorrow.